Let's camera in action. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sigrid Anika here, and I'm back again with another episode of Navigating Your Twenties. Let's get right into it. So today's topic will be all about anxiety, the big A. Okay, just like the A in my name, anxiety. I try not to give her too much power over my life but it's something that i do like struggle with like, anxiety is a very powerful powerful thing it prevents you from doing a lot of the things that you want to do for me i've always 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 had anxiety i used to play piano and we used to have like little concerts and you know things like that and every time i would have to go and perform i would feel paralyzed and i would feel like i just couldn't breathe like I had panic attacks my hands were like trembling uncontrollably and that just caused me to mess up a lot whenever i used to like perform in the concerts and whatnot it's present when i have to do something in front of a crowd i hate crowds anything i have to do in front of a crowd i immediately like clam up and get anxious i hate like speaking in front of people because it's not i don't think it has to really do with um, the people is it's just me like I'm always in my head I'm always like oh how do I sound I hope I don't mess up this word I hope they could understand me it's always like I hope I hope I hope I hope and it's never just let me just do it do it do it do it do it you know and when it comes to like just putting myself out there it takes a toll on me mentally like i would have mental breakdowns where i would just cry and cry and cry like i don't want to do this like this is too much like why do i have to do this like this is so unnecessary and like why can't i just be like why can't i just just live you know but as i'm navigating my 20s and trying to find tools and ways to like really just put myself out there and do things on my own term and just have fun in my 20s and try to not let things hold me hostage and keep me down and keep me from um, going forward and moving up and not backwards it has really helped to like just make a plan have an idea and execute it so this girl chat series was all it was i think it was destined for it to happen this way because i have i feel like i have a message to, to bring to people and I think Girl Chat, Navigating Your Twenties is a perfect way to do that. This is currently episode four. And if you're seeing this, episode three was already posted. Hi. <laughs> navigating Your Twenties and being an anxious person. Like, I'm very anxious. I'm socially awkward. We talked about that in, in episode one, making friends. I try not to let it define me, but more so empower me to just embrace it. I don't like to talk to a lot of people. I have a fear of making new friends because it's just I've had bad experiences with just long-term friendships. So I always have expectations of if we're friends, we're friends, we're in this for life. I've had people tell me like, yeah, we're sisters, like we'll be friends forever. And over one inconvenience, we stop being friends. So for me, it's like I'm fearful and I'm very mindful of the type of people that I let into my space and the type of people I call friends. I don't call people friends anymore. I always say that I don't have friends because I know people, I have acquaintances, we check up on each other once in a while, you know, we communicate once in a while, but to say friends, I don't have friends. Like, I'm just, like, I'm all in this alone. The only friend I have is myself and my boyfriend. Other than that, I don't have, like, friends' friends that I can truly count on to like, be with me through the end. I can always 100% count on myself to be with me through the end because I'm myself and I know, I know myself. So a lot of things make me anxious. <laughs> a lot of things make me anxious, but the thing that makes me anxious the most is just putting myself out there. And a lot of things caused me to just be reserved and a lot of life experiences humbled me. Um, it made me become more aware of who I can and can't trust and that just like bottle up all the anxiety and it also has like childhood trauma in it too it just makes me anxious and it's not a good feeling at all like i really do be having panic attacks like, i would be like in my room and just like panicking like i can't breathe my heart is like beating fast and and i just feel dizzy I have a few times like in the past where i would literally just 
blackout fainted like about three times in my whole entire life it was so 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 scary and after you just feel like you just feel numb like your body just feels fragile it feels numb and it's like you're not connected to yourself after my panic attacks my body like when i when i'm going through a panic attack like my body just starts to shake and i feel i tend to feel weak during it and after it too like the after effects is like oh god i'm so tired you know i try i try i don't know what i do but i try <laughs> and one thing that i hate that it makes me super super anxious is last minute things if i know i have to do an interview or like meet a meeting or something and you tell me today for tomorrow oh that's it that's the only thing that's on my mind until the day comes like other than that everything that i have planned cancel because i can't think I can't sleep, I can't breathe, I can't eat, and my mind is just like going crazy because it's like, hmm, what am I gonna say? I'm not prepared. Like, oh, 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 oh. and it's like, girl, just calm down. My boyfriend tells me like, you don't have to know it all. You're intelligent, you're smart, and you know what you're doing. I struggle with knowing it all. I think that that's what like really like triggers my anxiety because I feel like I have to know everything. I've been doing better though. I've been doing better with like, just saying I don't know. Because if I don't know, I don't know. I can't make up something and just be like, oh, this, this is what... I used to do that. I remember mean, be like, you, sometimes you should just be saying anything. Because that don't even... And it's just sometimes I do be saying anything. Because, like, I start to get frantic and I start to panic. Like, oh, is the perfectionist in me? Because I think it stems from school. Because I, And growing up, too, I, I felt like I always had to be top of the top. Because if I didn't get good grades, if I wasn't participating enough, if I wasn't, you know, like competing with the girls to like be at the front like that kind of environment for me when i was growing up it was always there and i just felt like i had to know it all and i'm a recovering perfectionist like i i love things to be on point all the time but i'm a recovering perfectionist because i've learned to just let things be what they are and mistakes happen you can make mistakes and just be okay with that so it's an uphill battle because sometimes some days you're doing your best and some other days you're just like man f this sh man like i can't take it i can't take it but i tried not to let anxiety run my life because if i if i had let anxiety run my life I would have never been a self-published author. I would have never started my poetry page where I post poetry and all those things. I would have never built a community on Instagram on my poetry page. I would have never became a graphic designer, brand designer, and built a community on that page. I would have never started my personal brand and started building a community on that page. You know what I mean? As much as I am an anxious person, as much as I have anxiety, I try to not let it run my life when it's something that I know that I'm passionate about and that I want to do. If I want to do it, I'll find a way to do it, regardless of anxiety. My things are just overcoming like public speaking, crowds. It's, I don't think it's really like, a problem with me, it's just how I am and like my, my nature and my personality. I'm introverted at heart. Like, I can't talk for too long, I can't socialize for too long, I can't stay out for too long, especially if I know that I don't be out much and then, and then I say, Oh, I can't wait to go home because it's like girl you always home yes I always home because my room and my my it's my comfort zone I love to be home I love to be in control of the thing speaking of control the unknown and not having control over certain things is what triggers anxiety I love being in control of my life I love being in control of certain situations I love being in control of the things that I'm doing and and whatnot so when i don't have that control i feel like i spiral i spiral i spiral i love having to say okay this is what's going to happen and that's that which is why i love being a content creator because i am in control of everything i'm doing so i'm more confident in it and it shows up as confident it's also why i love being an entrepreneur too because i control my business i'm the one that is in control of everything i'm overseeing everything so letting go of that control is like mm, i don't know if they will be able to translate or communicate that or understand what it is that i'm trying to share so mother wounds mother wounds that's all i will say because it's deep like i feel like if you grow up i don't want to make it like a race thing but if you grow up black plus caribbean plus west indian oh the the wounds of your childhood will flare up and show up in your life as an adult and it's not a good feeling because then you start hurting people that you truly truly love you know 
and you don't mean to do it it's just the way that you were nurtured it is the way that you were brought up is how you learned to maneuver as a child and 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 a growing adult too a teenager and it's like sometimes you can't help it but that's what introspection and being self-aware is like you have to realize okay this is not right i can't keep hurting this person i can't keep um bringing up my issues towards that person so this video while it's like about anxiety is touching base on every single thing like that that sums up anxiety and that sums up childhood trauma so i might just change the t title to anxiety plus childhood trauma so i've always been like a competitive person i love to be the first of ever to do anything well i love to be the first to do anything and that comes with being a perfectionist it comes with being a know-it-all and sometimes i hate that about myself because girl it's not that serious that's why when it comes to like creating my own things i'm in my own lane so i don't have to compete with anything that i don't want to compete with i don't see people as competition i always think of people as a potential collaboration partnership or a co-worker because we are in the same field we're in the same industry you know so um while i'm i do have a competitive nature especially when it comes to like games and things like that i am also learning to just let things be in their own lane and master my own lane so yeah i think that's it for this this video i don't want to make it too long either but if i have anything else to add i'll probably make a part two so let me know if you have any other questions or any other topics so i have a few questions and it's something new that i start i want to implement in all of the end of my videos what are your key takeaways from this this video strike you the most what did you relate to the most what can you add to the topic do you have any things that you personally went through and experienced in your childhood or in life when it comes to like anxiety and childhood traumas you know what are the key takeaways from the video what are your key takeaways from the video which parts of the video did you enjoy the most and which ones resonated with you the most basically so let me know in the comment section down below if, if you're loving hashtag girl chat navigating your 20 don't forget to subscribe and get on this side leave a like and you know share it with your friends so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace